Hey everyone, and welcome to this video from Publish Press. I'm going to show you how you can subscribe to updates for your WordPress content in the calendar that you use. It could be the calendar app on a Mac, it could be Google Calendar, whichever calendar you use, Publish Press allows you to get automatic updates directly from WordPress into your calendar. If you go to Publish Press and you look at the main calendar screen, there's going to be a link in the top right corner. Click here to subscribe in iCal or Google Calendar. If you click this link, it's going to give you a little pop-up where you can choose to get information on content that was published in the past, up to six months ago. And you can also get information on content that will be published over the next 12 months, if you think that far ahead. The way to do this is to click on the blue copy to the clipboard button, and you're going to get a URL copied to your clipboard. Let's take the example of a Google Calendar. I have a completely blank Google Calendar here. And on the left hand side, Google gives me a link, add a coworkers calendar. If I click on the plus icon, I'll go down to from URL, and I'm gonna paste in the URL that I've just copied from inside my WordPress site. Click on add calendar. And at the bottom, I'll get a little message, calendar added. I'm gonna click the back button, and there we go. All of the content that has been published or will be published is scheduled to be published on my WordPress site is now available inside Google Calendar. A quick note of caution, this only syncs in one way. You can't make a change from your calendar and have it sync back to WordPress. But if you make a change inside WordPress, it will automatically be sent to your calendar. So WordPress is driving the changes, but your calendar can reflect them. Automatically, it will show the updates that you make inside of WordPress. And it's also possible to do the same thing with other calendars, such as the calendar app that you get with Max. In this case, you're going to want to go to File and New Calendar Subscription. Again, you're going to paste the URL and click on Subscribe. The calendar app is going to ask you for a little bit of configuration. For example, you can choose the color or the name of your calendar. But after clicking OK and waiting a few seconds, you should see that all your content has been automatically imported. So this should make your life easier if you rely on your calendar to schedule the work that you're doing. And it's another big reason to consider using Publish Press to manage your WordPress content.